we shall try and understand data races by answering the three W's what, when and why. Let's begin by trying to understand what a data race is. In a parallel program, a data race is set to occur when multiple threads access the same memory location and at least one of these accesses is a write. It is therefore a property of the execution of a program. In practice, a thread analyzer can be used to detect data races in a multi-threaded program. But when exactly does a data race occur? When these three conditions are simultaneously satisfied, a data race is said to have occurred. Number one, multiple threads of the same process share a single address space and access the same memory location. Number two, at least one of these threads accesses is a write. Number three, these accesses are not ordered by any forms of synchronization operations such as locks or condition variables. But why do data races matter? When these three conditions hold, the relative order of accesses is essentially non-deterministic. Therefore, the results of the computation vary depending on the relative order of these accesses, specifically where the right accesses are placed in that order. If none of these are right operations, the value retrieved from that memory location will be the same regardless of when a thread reads from it and the output of the program will remain deterministic. We have to keep in mind that the order of execution cannot be determined before running the program. This is because the compiler and hardware strive for better performance and may restructure the code entirely. Let us observe the execution of two threads, t1 and t2, which share a variable x and at least one of the accesses is a write. Here are two possible runs of the same code. As you can see, in the first execution, the value of y printed is 10. And in the second execution, the value of y printed is 15. This is because a data race has occurred and led to non-determinism in the execution of the program. Here's a situation in real life which is analogous to a data race. When dealing with incoming and outgoing transactions into your bank account, you have to wait until you have enough money in your account for an outgoing transfer to be valid. Hence, you have to receive money first before you can send it. Here, the relative order of transfers is important. How do we deal with data races? Data races are essentially synchronization bugs. Therefore, data races are handled by synchronizing accesses to shared memory. Various methods can be used to do this, including locks, atomics, and barriers. 